that the presidential election was generally seen to be free, fair, and peaceful. However, there was, in fact, a huge array of election malpractices virtually in all the states of the Federation. The June 12 election is regarded as the freest and fairest election in Nigeria's history, but it was annulled by the military government of General Ibrahim Babangida, sparking widespread protests and civil unrests. At the time, Bola Tinubu was a key member of the pro-democracy movement, an influential figure of the National Democratic Coalition, NADECO. It was a group of pro-democracy activists formed in response to the annulment of June 12 election. Tinubu played crucial roles in mobilizing support for the pro-democracy movement and organizing protests against the military government of General Sani Abacha. So you want to cover and preempt any fallout of that investigation and now package the woman, brand her as if this is doing well, that is why you ask that to announce a committee that should be presidential. In addition, of course, I've been running the opposition radio. I've been, shall we say, the most prominent member of the team running the opposition radio called Radio Kudirat, which has been given a batch of nightmares because for the first time we've been able to puncture the balloons of lies and propaganda which has been uh, feeding the entire nation with and been mobilizing the people against the electoral the election, uh, the so-called democratic process. But Abacha wanted to get rid of his, the people he feared most at that particular time. The late dictator had taken over power in November 1993 from the interim national government of NS Shonekon, hurriedly put in place by General Babangida after the annulment. So shouldn't we even share knowledge, acquire knowledge to really uh, understand, you know, uh, what a, a nation needs. Tinobu used his position as a respected politician and influence within Nadeko to galvanize public support for the cause. His efforts, along with those of other pro-democracy activists, helped to raise awareness both within and outside Nigeria about the injustice brought by the annulment and the need for democratic governance in the country. In addition to his activism, Tinubu also provided financial and logistic support to the struggle for democracy in the country. The struggle for the actualization of June 12 eventually led to the end of the military rule in Nigeria in 1999. I, Olusegun Obasanjo, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that year, Nigeria transited to democratic governance when Urushe Gwabasonjo was elected as the president of Nigeria. Without you, without you, your determination, your courage, your support, our race and every other world will have been slain perpetually. Bola Tinubu's role in the struggle for the actualization of June 12, 1993 election demonstrated his commitment to democracy and desire to stand against injustice. In the years that followed, Tinubu continued with his political career and became a prominent figure in Nigerian politics, serving as governor of Lagos State from 1999 to 2007. After serving for two terms as governor, he continued to play significant roles in national politics. Tinubu and other political allies from the All Progressive Congress APC on the 6th of February 2013 as a major opposition to the then ruling People's Democratic Party, PDP. Thank you for the great challenge. We have been challenged as a new incomers in trust we put you. That trust you cannot abuse. We'll be with you. We'll work with you. But if we need to fight you, 
will fight. Thank you, Osho Baba. The coalition led to the defeat of the PDP in 2015 general election, the first time a ruling party will be sent out of power in Nigeria political history. Having contributed significantly to the victory of APC in 2015 and 2019 elections, Tinubu joined the race for the 2023 presidential poll, emerging victorious at his first attempt at the presidency. The road has been long, yet we walk it. The battle has been hard fought, yet we won it. We vowed to come together to make Nigeria stand shining forth at the beloved and brave republic that God created for all of us. We are committed to the progress, development, and renew the hope of Nigerians. Ayodili Uzubaku, TVC News, Lagos.